All right, welcome to our next video in programming in SNAP. Uh, this is a lab that we're going to talk about. This is going to be lab 10. And uh, in it, we get to recreate a popular children's game. Maybe when you were growing up, you did this too. Uh, but we're going to create the game Mad Libs. So the way that it works is you will pick a song or a poem, you know, something with, with words, and we're going to write a program that alters randomly some of the words in that song or poem. So the idea is this is our introduction into a new programming concept called lists. Now I've posted a video online introducing what lists are, talking about how they're a convenient way to have not just a single variable, but a collection of variable values. Lists can hold numbers and words and true false values just like variables can but what's cool about lists is they can hold many of them so the reason we need that for this particular lab is because we want a group of nouns to pull from to perform a substitution in our song we want a group of verbs we want a group of adjectives so on and so forth so the first couple things you're going to do in this lab first up you're going to create four lists of nouns verbs adjectives, adverbs, and then I want you to put in lyrics and figure out what words you're going to substitute. So I have uh, an example execution of my code, and I'm going to use one of my favorite songs of all kind. It's an example I give in the classroom a lot, but um, the On Cake's legendary album Fashion Nugget, they had a song called, I think it's called The Distance, and the normal lyrics are... Reluctantly crouched at the starting line, engines pumping and thumping in time, the green light flashes, the flags go up, churning and burning the urine for the cup. So it's a song about a racer trying to win a cup, right? Well, I, I'm not going to show you my code because that would defeat the purpose of the lab, but I will show you what it looks like to execute this correctly. So happily crouched at the moon, engines pumping and jumping in time, so we can see that uh, some of the words were changed. The big light flashes, the rock goes up instead of the flag goes up. Uh, running and pondering the yearn for the cup. Okay, so that's a miniature version of what it should look like. I believe the lab requirement is that you have 20 lines um, from your song. Uh, if your song is shorter than that, email me, let me know if you want to do something that's slightly different. Uh, but I want you to get a lot of practice doing this. So let's talk about what blocks you might use. Um, First, it talks about this in the video on lists, but to create a list, we use a setter just like we normally would any variable, but then we have to use this special list reporter right here, and we set a variable we create to a list of values. And if we want to add values to that list, we can use this little right arrow, left arrow to increase and decrease the number of values. So for instance, I have a variable called nouns, I set nouns to a list, and now when I do this, we should see up here, maybe, what happened? Oh, hang on. There we go. It sets nouns, now contains rock and dog and cat. Okay. So then how do we go about getting a random value out of that list? Well, thankfully, Snap provides for us this cool block called item blank of blank. The first blank represents the index, which is the location in the list. If I said item one of nouns, I'd be going to get the first item from the nouns list, which is going to be rock. But I don't want the first item always. That would be a boring song. What I want is a random item. So I'm going to say item random. Then the question is, okay, well, how do I, you know, normally I just make these long print statements that, of words being said. How do I intermix my random word in there? Well, there's this handy join block. You're just going to take your random word and join it in with the other lyrics of the song, and then you can plop that whole thing inside of a say command. And now you're going to have a whole bunch of these say commands and joins and random items together, and that's going to make a silly song. I know that this lab is usually a student favorite. It's usually pretty funny. Um, it's meant to be an easy, accessible way to get into lists. If you have any questions, email me as always, and thanks for watching.